and we're off. We're going home. We just left Brew together as always, worked all day. And now we're in the Uber. We had to wait for like 30 minutes because somebody kept canceling, canceling, canceling. They didn't want to take our ride. But today what I want to talk about is communication. I was trying to talk to this guy about his business and about like an idea of, to help him promote it and everything. And I learned that, I figured out that I was communicating it to him in the wrong way. I was telling him like how to do it and explaining like how and the benefits of it, but not why he should do it really, or why it would interest him to do it. And so he wasn't that like interested in it. And I didn't understand why he didn't want to just do it because it's a free thing. It's not something he would have to pay for. It's something he can do very easily and by himself, but he just wasn't interested. And I went back, sat down and talked to Pooja and I was like realized that I was communicating in the wrong way, that I was talking from an explaining point of view, which I do. I'm not mansplaining, <laughs> just explaining about how to do it because I understand the benefits and I under, ooh, bumpy ride today. It's moving pretty fast. I understand the benefits and the why behind it, but somebody's not that's not really aware of these tools and these things to promote business, like Google My Business and Maps and stuff like this. They he doesn't understand why. And I did a poor job at I did a poor job at communicating that and so I ended up talking to his brother actually afterwards and did a did a much better job of explaining the why behind it and I think that a lot of the times when we're communicating we miss that that part of it and we don't I know I do it a lot I don't I don't look or understand why somebody else would want to know the information or why they would want to implement something and I don't think about their point of view and I just try to explain and I think what really sucks is in college and high school and school, you learn how to communicate. You take these communication classes and you have to give speeches, but everyone just gives speeches in the same way. And that's like, they just want you to have public speaking skills and not necessarily know how to. It's very, very busy. And we almost hit somebody, very scary. And we don't necessarily talk about understanding the other person's point of view or why they would want to you know, learn something and it's always one-sided and it's just explaining. And so, missed an opportunity to try to help a friend, help a business, which kind of sucked, but I learned something from it and hopefully next time, and it was next time I spoke to his brother and he understood the why and everything and I did a better job of communicating, so. I think just overall and... You did a good job. Uh-huh. Job. You listened, you heard my, what I was saying yeah. while you were playing with the doggy? Yes. Always distract, distracted by the puppy there. By the puppy. They could just promote themselves as a dog cafe and people would, yeah. would come. So. Doggo I, therapy cafe. Doggo. <laughs> That's why Pooja goes there, the doggo it's my therapy. therapy so. <laughs> Communication. My lesson for today for myself and hopefully for others is Think about the other perspective and the other person and why why we're communicating or telling something and not just about explaining or about our own goals and stuff like that. So <laughs> I have to yell because it's very loud. This guy is zooming. We're almost home. This video will end when we get home. Do you have any update for today, Pooja? No, I slept at 1 in the morning today. That's why I'm doing stayed up all night. I'll watch 30 minutes of Saw and then it ended up watching all of the Saw and just, yeah, not good. So, and no other updates? You don't have any other exciting news? No. Your friend started her new job? Nothing, nothing? Oh uh, yeah, my friend started a new job and I'm really, really happy for her and I was checking on her the whole day how she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Managing and helping. How is she after so long so I don't know how she's been keeping up the hard part oh my we're gonna hit this car look at, this. Look at Pooja's face Pooja was terrified she thought we were hitting that car I think the hard really hard part for her friend is in South Asian countries and for women in, and in Nepal they have a lot of the household duties which unfairly they have to take care of that and there's not really a divide about 
personal life and professional life and family members and parents-in-law expect you to do certain things and she has meetings that are scheduled at the end of the day at which is dinner time. when she's usually cooking dinner or with the family and stuff and so and all, this, all of that is going to be cut off <laughs> and I'm, I'm worried about that kind of household pressures aren't you worried about that? Normally for everyone, for us it's hard, whether you're married or unmarried, parents they don't understand. No, it's, it's hard to make them understand. Like, <laughs> 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 so scary. Bas, yeah, and bye. Yeah, yeah, bye. He was a man on a mission, he wanted to get this over very quickly. So, okay, that's it, that's all we got. Anything from you, Pooja? Hold yeah. this. Say bye and everything. That's all. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. And good luck to Pooja's friend. Do well.